I have this greenhouse here and it gave me an idea. Greenhouses of course have hot air inside which is good for your plants and extends your growing season. So I decided to do basically use the same design size and layout and make myself a solar food dryer. So I'm just going to look at this to get ideas for the plans and I'm going to have more shelves of course slide in shelves than what you would see here and the bottom portion will have a solar heating system to cause the hot air from the sun to rise up and dry the foods so I'm over here setting up my wood out here and going to start to build a solar food dryer today which is one of my top priorities because the garden is really producing a ton of food uh, it's going to be way too much for me to eat especially when the tomatoes start getting ripe um, there's a couple coming along I have too many cucumbers too many squash and uh, I'll have a lot more on the way so it's time to get this food dryer going I've got some wood cut for the framing. The long ones are five foot high. These are the frames. These shorter ones, the three foot pieces I cut off, there was eight foot boards, will be angled upwards and this will be the heater box. And these shorter ones I've got enough to make two, three, four slide in drawers. I want to make a couple drawers first and see, get the, the look and feel of it before I go on and go get too carried away with building this whole thing and I can make some drawers and set them out in the sun and start drying some food as I continue working Well here's a frame for one shelf. I'm going to put some cheesecloth on it now, stretch it tight around the bottom, staple it on and see how well it's going to hold up.
Well, for better or for worse, here's a shelf from my solar dryer. Um, it's dollar store cheesecloth. So, I'll see how it goes. It's going to sag a little bit, but I can always stretch it and re, um, reset it on the frame with time. I know that plastic is better. Uh, maybe even if this lasts me for a season, and I have to replace it next year, that's fine. I have to start drying food, and here is my dryer. I don't know if the cheesecloth will stick to some foods badly, but for now, I'm going to try it. Well, there's a rack of pickles. This is two whole cucumbers. Uh, it does sag some in the middle, but the frame allows for some expansion room without touching the fruit up below them. So I'm going to put this out in the sun just as is for now and see what happens today as I continue building the frame. I have one of the side rails roughly laying out. I'm going to have, let me see, make sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven racks of food on here. And the bottom space is going to be for the drying area, for the solar drying area. So I'll have seven food racks on here, which isn't bad at all, considering the size of the racks that I'll have. They're two foot by 18 inches. So that's pretty decent sized food racks. So now I'm going to mark these out and nail the sides together. I'm spacing these four inches apart. I could put more, but honestly that's a lot of food to handle in one day of processing if I had more than seven shelves on here. And I'm allowing some extra space in between the shelves for air to flow. Another thing I'm doing you might notice in a minute here that every second board has two nails at each end whereas the others only are going to have one nail this has two this has one this has two this has one this will have two that'll give it support and strength so it doesn't collapse on me so the frame has support There's one side rack, or side wall done, I should say. Piecing together the frame, and I just want to make sure that my shelf will slide in here. See, it should slide in nicely and fit right between the frames all the way. And it does. Try a couple of these slots, make sure it fits in. It should sit on a little bit loosely and rest on these lips, and they do. So that's perfect. So now I'm going to continue cutting the boards. I've only got two of these nailed on. I just laid the other two on to get an idea how much I want to use. I'll cut the other four and nail this frame together. And then I can stand it up and continue on with the construction. I'm outdoors on uneven ground, so this is a little bit awkward, but I'll do what I can. Make sure this still fits together.
ground is terribly uneven here, so it's hard to work with. I'm in the middle of the forest, but let me see. This should slide in, rest between the sh frames nicely. It does. This one's a little bit crooked, but it'll even out with time. Just make sure they all slide in. That'll slide into all the racks. That'll work. It's going to work out well. So now I make seven shelves for this frame, and then I can cover it in plastic, put black on the back side, and then I have to make my solar heater on the bottom. There's the frame for the solar dryer. I'm just piecing it together now for size just to get an idea. Yeah. Well, that'll be the solar dryer. It'll sit in here. I'll build a lip for it later. So I'm going to screw this together now. There's the frame for the solar dryer. It slips in and out right now, nice and freely. Now I'm going to put a board down here for this to slip into. What I want is for that to slide inside underneath the lowest food rack to cause hot air to come up inside the dryer. There's the drying rack frame with the solar drying frame in place. Now it's time to get the casing on this whole thing and start putting in shelves. Now I have the shell on. I um, bought contractor's plastic so it's not exactly see-through, not totally transparent, but some sunlight will get in and um, the solar dryer that I will install on the bottom is going to do its part. So this will have a greenhouse like effect. Some sunlight will get in. It will get hot in there and again the, the solar drying rack on the bottom or the solar heater that I installed is going to make a huge difference on this at least that's the theory so I'll keep building here well for now a dollar store vinyl shower curtain finishes off the top and the front quite nicely I um, just have to leave this exposed enough to let hot air out what I'll do is during the day have a little gap here for the moisture and hot air to escape eventually later I'm going to put a angled roof on this and have the hot air escape actually this way have the hot air escape out the back and the top and that way if um, when I store this at night I don't want dew to come in on the vegetables I want this to be sealed off but yet able to allow moist air to escape. Now down here will be open. This is where the solar heater will be. I just slid in my tray of cucumbers that I had put out earlier. They only got about two hours of actual full sunlight today. The sun is off this meadow 
at, by about 4.30 in the afternoon and I had this sh shelf done by about 2 or so so they didn't get as much as they could have but anyway here you can see it sits in there nicely slides in really easily and there's a second tray underneath so I have plenty of space in between I could have put a lot more trays in here but I think seven is enough for now I can fill this right up and put a lot of vegetables in here and eventually I'll replace this cheesecloth with plastic when I find some I'll have to shop around but it's a quick fix for now and it works and cheesecloth it was uh, four whole yards for a dollar so that's a good deal so it'll work for now and it allows the light and the heat to flow through so there's my solar dryer so far I'm gonna rig up a way to have an open and closed door on here and I still have to do the solar heater and that's it now this is a budget food dryer so I'm using what I have at hand I have some trash bags I staple it neatly along the frame black will absorb the sun's rays get hot there's an air gap down here fresh air will enter the bottom and flow up and I'll have a gap at the top for the heated air to enter the food dryer hopefully this will work uh, later as funding is available for this I can use more durable materials uh, right now I just need to get this going for tomorrow well there it is There's, I put the rest of the little bit of the vinyl shower curtain I had, I had enough to uh, cut off and put on here. I've got the air inlet here, I've got the exit up at the top for the hot air to come in and dry my food. And the clear plastic itself will create a greenhouse effect and help to dry the foods. And now all I need is some sunny weather and a way to secure this plastic around I'll probably finish that tomorrow that's it for tonight now there's my solar food dryer very simple very cheap just using materials I pretty much had laying around except for a couple dollar store items and the lumber I'll do the math but I think there's no more than seven or eight dollars here in lumber max but uh, I'll figure it out and put it on my website and let everybody know there's the solar food dryer